These are extension tubes. I'm doing some macro work in, in the next video. So you stick these behind a lens and it enables you to focus closer for, for the stuff I'm doing. Um, all will be revealed. It's, it's to do with nozzles. So obviously you want to get quite close up to nozzles. The problem with these is, I don't know if you can see this, but they're shiny on the inside. So things, you see my finger reflecting there on the tube. That actually becomes a huge problem when you, when you take in macro, uh, footage. So what I've got is oh nice work. Yep. What I've got is this paper that's sticky and it's, it's like it's flocked. Um, so I'm just cutting a strip of that. And in theory, I should be able to line this tube with that uh, because I'm doing it on camera. I'm going to be like really clumsy about it, but I, I, yeah, it does seem, it does seem a lot easier in, it does seem a lot easier in theory than it's going to be in practice, but there you go. That's, I know this has nothing to do with 3d printing. I just thought it was amusing. Um, bit of behind the scenes, the struggle that I have to do before every video. This is why it takes me two weeks to do every video because I spend far too much time on stupid stuff like this. In the background, you're hearing the, um, the bamboo P1S with the new software on it. And I had some people comment on, on that, uh, that they think that bamboo has invented stealth chop, which is the algorithm that Trinamic, Trinamic, um, the people who make the stepper drivers use, and it is highly successful in making printers quiet, but I don't think that's what's going on um, because that mode um, massively reduces torque, which is why you don't see it used on higher speed Core XYs like Vorons. And if you watch my second Voron video, you'll see that I specifically had to turn it off because what it was doing was it was causing layer shifts because of the lack of torque. Now, obviously you could work with that and you could tune it to a value that is moderately quiet and um, has more torque, but I, I just think that Bamboo, if they're doing that, they're not quite implementing it the same way as Stealth Chop. I don't actually know what they're doing. It's obviously some kind of resonance tuning, but yeah, I think once again, it's one of those comments where you could say, oh, oh, they're just copying Trinamic. I also acquired this macro rail. I, I need to get some, let me just get some power. The principle of this is that it enables you to move really small increments. So like one turn is, I don't know, five mil or something. And it's got, um, it's got graduations on the bit it's not focusing on there. And it's got a little like markings on the, on the lever. So Elegu have uh, sent me a box of I knew I needed the camera higher. Let's do that again. Pretend you didn't see that. Elegu have sent me a box of filament. Uh, the interesting thing about this, apart from the colours are really cool, I really like that green. Don't know if that's coming across. Look at that reel. Now I've asked them and they say it's just another style of reel. I'm, I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean but it sort of looks like recycled plastic doesn't it i don't think it is i think it's kind of just it looks cool it would be nice if it was made out of waste plastic which i kind of think it might be but elegu don't seem to think so i also bought this thing on AliExpress recently. It's an air blower thing, duster, and it's actually covered in dust because obviously it can't... Yeah, let's not go there. It's really quite powerful though. You 
double click for the torch and you hold down to turn it on and there's already things moving around but you can blow dust off it will be So actually, yeah, if you if you use air dusters, I, I do recommend getting one of these because this is remarkably powerful. Hopefully we should see less dust on my on my stuff when I film it in future. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that some filaments are UV reactive in that they will light up when you shine a UV torch at them, but also some printers are printed out of filament that is UV reactive, so the Prusa Mark IV is one of them. A lot of reds, yellows and oranges are in fact the same. If you've got a red or orange or yellow filament, possibly green as well, and also white, there's a good chance it will be UV reactive. It's not always the case, but give it a go. If you're using one of these or one of these to transfer stuff to and from your computer they usually come actually they're both the same brand i've just noticed they usually come if that could be called a brand with a printer and well i've had a lot of problems lately with corrupt sd cards and since i stopped using these and started using i can't show you both ends without zooming out they make pretty good spinners not only do they um they're really slow but also I have had file corruption, so you can fix it with, uh, with tools and get your files back. It's, it seems to be corrupting the boot record or something. If these aren't the cause, they're not, they're not helping. So yeah, that just about sums up what's going on at the moment. I'm gonna go and make some proper content with the macro lens. That's never gonna stop being funny.